Hello, um, I'm due three parcels today. It would have been four, but um, yeah. Basically, the first parcel, um, it's mainly going to be tubs. I don't think this is the one from Mystic Spirit because she's got me a present because it was my birthday the other day. Um, I'm going to just open these and um, I'll show you what I've bought, but there is one trench on here, but I'm not going to show you me unboxing like 50 tubs because that's what it is pretty much. So yeah, I'm just going to unbox it and then show you what I've bought. Um, everyone buys from Spider Shop so they know that the packing's good. So yeah, um, back in a sec. Um, one kind of like complaint type thing is um, bag of sand to burst. Um, to be fair, <laughs> when you're having a big bag of sand in a bag like that, it's not going to last very long. Yeah, not really buffered to be fair, because it's like a two quid bag of sand or something, so I'm not really fussed. This is only a couple of quid, so, and I don't need that much, so yeah, just the kind of, yeah. So far, everything's good. Just took out these bowls, because you can't really get them anywhere else, except I've only ever seen them at Spider Shop, so just thought I'd stock up on them. They're basically the same as the big balls that I use for the tees, except they're just shallower, so I could use them for a couple of smaller ones. So yeah, um, piece of bark. That's alright, um, I just ordered some bark just to see how much I get, and that's like a quid piece of bark. So that's not too bad. Okay, um, I'll just unbox the big box and get back to you. Back in a sec. So I did buy a tea. Um... I'm not going to show it just yet, it's straight in front of me, um, it was really cold so what I did was literally, I just thought I had to get it out straight away, weren't videoing it, just had to get it out, just check on it, and here it is, so people are probably thinking, what's this, well it's, um, what's it now, Plislamina species Bolivia, I'm probably butchering it, I can't remember it exactly, but um, they're not a very big species, um, the dwarf I think, I cannot remember the adult size, I know they don't get huge, mine's not the best. Um, I'm just going to rehouse it, for now it's just going to go in a tub, um, in a small tub. Um, I might upgrade it later today, but for now that tub will do it. Um, so I'm just going to transfer it and leave it be, and I'll show you what I've got and um, the tea at the end. Okay, back in a sec. Hey, that's a lot of better view. Um, I just thought I'd mention this. That is the most placid sling. I don't know, just because it's like just been delivered, so it's a bit calm, like because of weather, so it's a bit cooler. Um, I don't know if it was the temperature that's made it like this, but it's the most placid thing ever. I was just tapping it to go in, and it just wasn't bothered at all. So, really happy with that. Honestly, really, I'm captive bread as well. Captive bread. Um, Growing on sling, which can't complain about. Okay, I'm gonna leave it be and just unpack the rest and just show you what I bought. Okay, um, back in a sec. Okay, only two complaints really. They sent me them instead of the small tubs that look like that, and sand was everywhere. But except that, I uh, can't really complain. Everything's here, set nice, safe. Um, no, nothing's broken. So I got some small tweezers. Um, that lids for them, the smaller ones and the larger ones. Um, shit ton of them bowls, pieces of chalk bar just to see how much I get for the quid or whatever it was. And um, that sand was something like 240, but it's just um, spare sand for now. And that's really cheap for sand, I'm not even kidding. When I had to house my um, June Scorpion, it cost like 8 quid for a bag or something. And that it, that were cheap, I suppose. To be fair, no, yeah, it was about eight quid a bag, and that's like great. But I'm gonna use that fin, that fine stuff for in future. Um, so I just got a Trenchless Keepers Guide. I've already had this book, but I just lost it, so it's just rebuying it. Um, um, a medium Exoterra and the medium flat Exoterra and P species Bolivia, which at the moment is currently hanging upside down. Don't know if these are um, a semi arboreal like the uh, Teocti. Um, could be like that, that's why it's hanging upside down. 
Um, I'll just see as um, I keep it um, as it grows, see what it prefers. Could be a tree species like that, because uh, there's some random ones. Um, overall, though, I'm really, really happy with this little one. Um, really rare species, so I just had to get one. Just had to. Um, so, yeah. Um, spider shop. Yeah, it's always packed fine. There's no problems with how it was packed. It's just um, well, it's the sand, but you know, be right. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, be right about that sand. Not too fussed. <coughs> just wrong tubs, but they probably ran out and made it easier. So yeah, um, I'll just leave it there. Then. Um, I will be having two more unboxing videos today. So I'll try and put them all out at the same time. Um, try my best, but I can't promise anything. So yeah, um, same bit of people. Bye. This is what I mean by I always change my mind. P species Bolivia. Now in this one. I always I always change my mind. Literally, I think everyone except one today I've changed my mind on. So yeah. I'll leave it be. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Just a bit extra. See you people. Bye.